Right, okay, so we start with our expression. Okay, the first job is to identify what things we're going to try and put onto the Carnot map. So before we even start looking about with the Carnot map, what we're going to do, it's everything that's joined with an or. So we identify where the ors are, and we say, right, okay, into, this is easy because they put brackets around it, but they don't have to put brackets around it. All right. So we can see there's an or there, so this, so I'm just identifying, that is something that I'm going to try and draw on the Carnot map. That is the next term I'm going to try and draw on the Carnot map. That is the next term that I'm going to try and draw on the Carnot map. Okay? So that's step one. Step two, as I told myself, is to create the actual empty grid. Now we've got four terms on here. This is the most complex that you'll get. You might get ones with less terms. Okay? But this is a four term one. So we're going to have a four by four grid. So let's just draw a four by four grid. Now, it's up to you how you group them, but there is just a traditional thing of saying, right, group the A's and B's together, group the C's and D's. Okay? Right. You then put these noughts and ones to say what the input is. Okay? So we go, not A, not B. Um, then we, ugh, I don't always put rubber. I shouldn't rub out my finger. It doesn't work. And then we say, as long as you don't do a double change of bit, it doesn't actually matter what you put down here, but there's a traditional way of doing it. All right? So then we go that, and then the final one, if you look what we've done, we've had, and that. Okay? It's my grey code. Do the same for the CD pairs, but I'm going to show you something else that you can do as well to make it a little bit easier. So just follow the same structure of pattern. Right, so what I find is that when I've got this, that doesn't relate to this very easily. I'm doing some translation in my head to say knots and normals. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do <coughs> this. I'm going to say the other form of knot. Remember on the sheet I gave you and I said, oh, there's all the different ways you can write knot. So I'm just going to put them down. So that is A, not B. That's a bad B. That is obviously A and B normal. That is not A and B. So this will help when you're trying to read that logic. Do the same on here, so this is not C, not D. This isn't a requirement, this is to try and make it easier for you. And it'll help in the long run. And then that is not C, D. That one's meant to be C, D. Which one? The first one. <laughs> C C. Which one? C. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, right. That is just an aid to help with the process. So uh, the next step is to take the groups you identified at the start. So this is step three. So there's no point in like saying, oh, I'm going to try and draw it at the top of my head. Yeah, you can do that, but you might make make a total mess. And all we take is these groups, and we just identify where on the diagram. Have we got A and B? <coughs> so if I look at my new system, which is to look at these, oh, A and B are there. Okay? Now it doesn't involve any other terms, so I've got to fill in that entire column. Alright? It doesn't matter what C and D are, because that wasn't part of that expression. So we just say, right, okay, put a one there. So I fill the entire A B column in. Okay? I'm ticking it off so that I know I've done it. Now I'm going to go to the next one. So I want not A, okay, so there's a not A there, but I want a normal B. So that is this, this time. And again, it doesn't involve any other terms, so I'm going to put the whole column in. If I've drawn it right. Okay. <coughs> right, the next term is not C, not D. So look on the diagram for that. That's there. Okay. So, I've copied all the columns. If you've got the knots and ones in a different order, 
you might have a slightly different shape for the diagram. I think this is different to the order that I did the other ones. I might have done um, a note there and a one there, but it doesn't matter. Okay? Right. That's the next step. What we've now got to do is try and do this grouping bit. This is the important bit. Right? And there are various rules for the grouping. You're not allowed to have an odd number of ones in a group. Okay? It's got to be a power of two. What you're trying to do to reduce the complexity is you want these groups to be as big as possible. Okay, the bigger the better, because it allows you to discard inputs. That's the whole point of the kind of map. You draw the big, dark, big rectangles so that you can say, oh, they don't matter, they change, they don't matter, get rid. All right, that's what we're trying to do. So if we look at our diagram, there's a massive group there. They've got to be rectangular. Okay? You can, if you want, put notes in all the other gaps, but that actually just makes the diagram harder to read. So you can just leave those blank. Okay? Now you could, if you wanted, you could do that as a group. But you want the groups to be large, and they are allowed to overlap. Okay? So we won't do that as a group. We're going to do the entire row. So I'll probably get away with doing that. Okay, so that's step four. And what you'll find in the exam questions, they'll actually give you a mark for getting that, for just drawing your diagram out right. Okay? Anyone got an issue so far? So that's, that's the easy bit, and that's where all the tutorials online then suddenly say, well, obviously the answer is this. <laughs> and they don't really explain the next bit. The next bit, this is my explanation. We're going to look at each group, Okay, so let's take the big fat one first. And you're going to look at it and you're going to say, right, what values go from being normal to knotted? Okay, so if we look at this one, we have got, just looking across the top first, so it's these, these two columns, we've got A and not A. Mm, so A changes. So let's just identify the changes. B, ooh, that stays the same. Okay, so let's not, let's not worry about that. So B the same. Right, let's look down the CDs. Right, so we've got uh, not C and C, and C and not C. So C's changing, isn't it? So C changes. Every time I wrote that when I was doing these last night, I kept writing, if I put C changes, my brain said, don't write another C, just go on to angels. So it's C angels all the time. I couldn't stop myself doing it. I need to do it again. Right, looking at the Ds for this group, so we're just following where the box is. You can see that we've got not D and D, so D changes. This is the crucial bit that's not explained very well, I don't think. Any that change, so that's going to give us all our terms that we're going to add together. Okay? The ones that change, we discard. So, discard. That's not going to be in the expression. Keep. Discard. Discard. So for that entire massive group, and this is the beauty of the Carnot map, the only term that actually matters is B. Okay, so for this, the term is B. For that huge group. And you'll find that the bigger that the rectangle boxes are, the simpler the expression that represents that box. Okay, everyone happy with that so far? So this is... This is the bit that I don't think is explained very well. They don't even they don't even Everybody gloss over this bit. They just go, oh, looking at that, you can see it's B. Yeah, no, you can't unless you know what's going on in your head. Yes? How do you tell if, they change, if they're changing all the same though? Right, so if you look at the, just look at the A one, because that's the easy one to see straight away. In this column, A is just normal A, yeah. a one. In this column, it's not A, so it's changed. So it's been A and not A. So it's like, oh, it's changed, right, okay, we're going to get rid of that one. Oh. We don't need, and you can see for the C and D, because it's every single C and D, they've all gone from C to not. Oh. All right, so it's, are they normal or knotted? That's what you're looking for. So that's the change bit. Right, so that's that one uh, <coughs> sorted out. Then we've got this one. So if we look at this again, look at 
this single column we have got not C and not D. There are no other representations for C and D, are there? Because it is just this row. Okay? So, we've got not C. No, let me draw it over there. You've seen that. Right, so I'm going to draw myself an arrow, and I would suggest that you do it this way, okay? So that you can show, you're showing you're working, really. So I'm saying, right, not C is the same, and we've got not D. That's the same. But let's look at the others. So we've done the C, D side, let's do the A, B. And you can see that we've got not A, 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 not A. So A changes. And B does the same, because we've got not B, not B, B, B. So B changes. So when I come to look at what is the expression that represents that bit of the map, I'm saying keep that. Keep that, that we can discard. It has no relevance. It doesn't matter whether it's a not or a normal, it doesn't make any difference to the output. And again with that one. So for this part of the map, we have got not C, and we join any terms we've got with and. Okay, so any of these terms at this point, we say and, not D. Okay, so we've identified from the map what those regions represent, and that's the hard bit. I think that, that is the hard bit. Okay? Now, when I did this before, I switched these round, and it was a nice, like, T-shape when I did it. But the result is identical. Okay? So don't get worried if you don't write these down. I can't remember wh whether in that question... Because um, I think it gave you the blank map, so they put <coughs> the colour reddings in. But I would suggest always doing this because this makes it trivial. You can't make a mistake, I don't think, if you do it that way. Okay, right, so we've got our individual terms. We then need to put them all back together to find out what the reduced logic is. And all we do is we take these individual map terms and we join them with ors, just like they had in the original one. So we get B or and then you can put it in brackets, but you don't need to. Not C and D. And that's it. That is how you're doing. Right, I'll stop the vid there and we'll do some more and I'll put them in different vids. If I was recording. <laughs>